Hello, Mario! In this video, 24 Preliminary Earthworks 2, I'm going to finish off the Preliminary Earthworks plan, I hope, and just continuing on from where we were last. You'll recall that when I last left you, we were looking at the uh, AutoCAD demonstration there and we found that we could not uh, couldn't get the the colours change the colours of the the contours that we'd uh, x refed in from 12D. Now it transpired that what what I found was that uh, when 12D exported the plan, um, it didn't show them as by layer. And so what I had to do was go into the plan that I had exported from 12D and change everything to by layer and by layer, and then I was able to change the colours quite well. But as I was doing that, I was thinking, well, hang on, I wonder if 12D can export the plan a little bit differently. And uh, after a bit of experimentation, yeah, I, I found out it can. So what I'm going to do now is take you right back to 12D and just revisit uh, the export of that plan. So I'm just going to um, first of all go into the, have a look at the big plan there, and you'll see that this is our, um, this is our AutoCAD version here, and I've taken all the contours out, and I'm just going to reduce that down, and here's 12D sitting in the background here. I'll just uh, try and make it, like so. So that's um, the contours and everything that we decided last time. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got most of the layers there that we need. Um, I have noticed a little bit of a problem just in here um, where there seems to be a whole series of numbers conglomerating there. I don't quite know why that is, but I'm going to leave it like that and uh, we'll tidy that up and in AutoCAD. So let's uh, have a look at the export here. So just file, input, output um, with no real problem. Uh, data output and DWG, DWG there. Um, we're going to export from this uh, particular scene or plan, which is plan one. It's the only one available. Uh, DWG, metric, AutoCAD, 2004, don't think that means. The file name, I'm going to call it Excavation 2. I've, I've, I've done it previously just to check that it works as you do. Um, I'm going to go with 2D there, 2D, and I'll have a default height of zero. Um, map file, we don't need one. Scaled paper is one to a thousand. Symbol colors default. Use blocks for point styles. And I'm going to tick here colours by layer, colours by layer, and line types by layer. So that will make everything by layer. And uh, features as arcs, not a problem. So that's everything there. There is a couple other little tabs we could look at, but I didn't really change anything there at this point. And the advanced there, that's probably way beyond where I'm at. But um, nothing, uh, nothing there. So I'm just going to write that. Okay, and it goes right already exists, would you like to replace? Yes, I would. Okay, and that's that finished. So I've just exported there. Now if I go uh, to my AutoCAD file here, and what I'm going to do is get the full screen uh, back there, and I'm going to uh, XREF Excavation 2 in this time. Um, I'll uh, just go bring that into a layer. I'm going to, um, and I'm going to get found out big time here. Um, I'm going to turn on that layer. So I have already uh, done a little bit of uh, a little bit of detailing there around the the sections and uh, what have you um, in, in in this layer. But um, we'll we'll leave it at that. For, uh, just just uh, bear with me on that. All right. So let's. Uh, Insert, just go to insert and it's an XREF so we can just click on here and 
add a DWG file, and the one I want to add is excavation 2, uh, there like that, and put that all in, it's attachment, it's all good to go, and do that like that, and drop down like that, and there it all is, it's all in there, in uh, glorious um, colour, um, everything like that, uh, perhaps the only thing that's not uh, show it in there, I wonder if I just check first that I've got my line types on, you can see that the major contours um, could go a bit thicker I think, um, so we'll have a look at that, um, and also I might just turn the sections off there as well, so um, let's, let's, do, let's go here to uh, home, and we can uh, look at our, probably go to uh, layer properties, oh, well I could turn off the, um, just make sure we're in model space, and turn off the uh, section, the sections in the two things, which is uh, stockpile the section, so that there could come off, probably turn that off, sections and turn that one there off they're unnecessary and that's just looking in there that's turned those off and still got the boundaries there um, like so and I'll just uh, want to thicken up the major contours oh here's the bit of a problem that I had here with this here so um, we just double click in here and that means that we can actually um, start working on the on the plan so that it'll, it'll update it um, as as an xref as well so i'm just going to uh, delete that there's actually about three three numbers in here that we need to i'm just delete so there's one there i don't quite know why that's happening uh, there's another similar occurrence over here it would appear um yeah so i'll just Delete and del oops, one more delete. So that's that sorted. Um, and just go into here. Uh, no, that's not what I want. I want to go into layer properties, and it'll be in the thing there, the major ground sub major, and probably want the line weight there to be oh, 0.35 okay and major minor section so I think that's the only one just the major there so we'll just uh, see how that goes okay and um, if we zoom in that's not not working oops um, escape here um, layer properties unsuitable and place major oh line weight point three five there point three five Grounds up major. Okay. Okay. Uh, save the changes. Okay. Um, and I can't see those. All right. So there's still a problem there. Excavation. Okay. Um, just trying to get those contours up to height. So let's just see what's happening there. Um, have a look at the properties. Okay, oh, it's a polyline. Ah, that's interesting. That's a polyline. And... Okay, the line weight is zero. The line weight there should be by layer. 
don't know why it's not. So, so let's uh, well, that's that's sorted the problem out anyway. So, um, just uh, oh, come into here. And some of the the line weights are not by layer. It's rather annoying. Like so. Um, see if we can select all those there. Um, okay. Um, I think it might be easier to just to save this file and I'll go into the excavation 2 file. Um, file open and that's the excavation 2 file okay um, right I'll just, uh, just get out of here for now save the changes okay and I'll go to the excavation 2 file and open that. And uh, that's it there. Okay. And that's it there. And what I want to draw, I thought I had this sorted, but um, line type by layer, by layer, line weight uh, should be by layer. By layer. That might sort our problem. Okay, let's just see here. All right, and then if we go, uh, okay, and then if we come up here to the uh, layers, home, uh, layer properties, uh, the major one there, I'm going to make that 0.35. Okay, close that down. Um, right, still not wanting to. Um, ground sub major, line weight by layer. Oh, okay, and the line weights are not, I don't think the line weights are turned on here. Ah, oh, there we go, so that's better. So that's turned on the 0.35, so that should solve the problem. So we'll just go file, uh, close, and save the changes, yes. Okay, and now back to our program here, back to uh, here, and into here. And it says here that it's changed, so we'll just update things. Uh, that's much better. And there we have all our contours. Um, the thicker lines going through there for the even numbered contours a little bit of overwriting of grayed out numbers in the background but that's not too fine not too bad so that's got that um, sorted out that sort of issue sorted out there might be some little overwriting issues I've gone in there as you can see with the with the stockpile um, I got the volumes out of 12D from the volume report. Just note that in terms of the area here, oops, um, I probably need to go into here. Okay, okay. And, oops, those sections are still turned on in there by the look of it. Um, so that's the area there of the, um, just the area of the thing there. And we've still got the sections in the, um, stockpile and in there as well so uh, let's go home and uh, turn those layers off in this particular viewport uh, stockpile sections oh they should be turned off unsuitable sections should be turned off okay I don't know why they're not why they're showing up there um, ok 
Okay. Um, okay, we'll see how we go with that. I'm, I'm just going to um, possibly get out of here now. So we'll save the changes. Okay. And then when we come back to here, ah, the sections are gone. So the sections were turned on and the and it's just there where it's suspected. And there's our contours and there's our volumes and area. Um, and our preliminary earthworks. So that pretty much finishes the preliminary earthworks plan. Um, I've just shown there the topsoil stockpile. I think I might, I've got the, um, got, I might just make these here just a little bit bigger at um, three millimetres perhaps. Three, yeah, just so they stand out a bit. And perhaps this uh, stockpile here, I've made that bold, but uh, probably 4.5. Okay, so that'll just get that a bit bigger. Okay, and I'll do the same up here for the unsuitable. So uh, we'll make that there uh, 4.5. Make the, oops, it needs a bit more room. And then these here, perhaps. Uh, oh, I forgot what I did, 3.5, uh, 4.5, I'll make them 3. Okay, so that's it there. That probably needs to um, just move a little bit. Uh, move. Uh, that'll, that'll be fine there. Okay, oops, and that's there. Unsuitable excavation. Um, just by way of these leaders here, um, I just um, clicked on them. So um, the leader, um, I just used the dot as the symbol there and um, turned off the landing, the landing gap zero text frame. And I think I put in here that there was no landing uh, attachment type left landing gap oh, landing distance zero set that to zero so that's all good there and um, that's our preliminary earthworks plans sheet four um, we'll sort out a file reference later turned on some I oh, didn't turn on just the street names and the lot numbers there very helpful so that we can um, locate where that is but um, yeah, with a little bit of fiddling there, we managed to X-ref the, the surface in there. Just remember to set everything to by layer by layer. And, um, yeah, and to widen up the, the gaps for the, uh, for the major contours like that. And then sort out any sort of anomalies with um, heights and things on the, on the, in the contour labels. So that's all very good. Um, I just might want to just check what height these uh, here are. Bit of text here um, for the contour label. It's a bit hidden there. Text height is one. Possibly might want to change all those to two. Um, so I'll possibly just do that now um, in here. So they're all right there. Can draw order, send to the back. Yeah. Um, so I'll just select all um, text here, possibly. Is it text or well, it might be uh, multi-line M text? Yeah. Uh, operator equals. Uh, we'll go with um, text height and the 
value equals one. Okay, um, and it selected none of them, so that wasn't particularly successful. Um, so there it is there, text height one. Um, so I'll correct them, ground sub labels, so see if I can grab some more of those. If not, we'll just call it a day and we'll try and do that another way. Um, text. Uh, height. Oh, is that the different value? Value equals one. And I don't know how many. No, we don't have seem to have selected those. So I'm just going to leave that there and possibly uh, come back to that at another time, revisit that. So let's, um, yeah, just uh, leave things there for now. Um, I think we've pretty much got that plan nailed in terms of what we can do with it and where we're going to go with it. Uh, I don't think there's too much more learning to be got from there. Although I will have a look at those, uh, the labelling of those contours. And um, just remember that, yeah, labelling stuff out of 12D, probably need to get it set to by layer by layer. Cheers. See you.